In the last videos, we already brought you with us to Tsumerka and Mitsovo, and now we bring you to one of the biggest cities of the mountains of Greece, which is called Ioannina. The region around Ioannina is also known for its natural surroundings. Here you can find the Vikos Gorge, which is one of the deepest gorges in the world, and the Pindos Mountains, which offer excellent opportunities for outdoor activities like hiking and mountaineering. Right now we are walking around the lake, which is most probably the most famous part of Yanina, is the lake here, and we have a big historical center. Um, we will take you a little bit more through the history of the whole place, and today we will also take you with us to the island. So this is the small boat that we need to take to cross the lake and go to the island. It costs 2 euros per person for one way, so in total it's 4 euros. I think you have to pay with cash. Most probably. So we just arrived to the island in the middle of the lake of Janina. It was around 12 to 13 minutes of drive. Um, do you say drive with the boat? I don't know. Well, it was around 12 to 13 minutes. Uh, it was pretty punctual. Um, so we left almost at 6.30. Now we're here already. So let's explore the island. Ioannina is the capital of Epirus and a much loved city among the Greeks, but not that well known to foreign tourists. It was founded around the 6th century before Christ and has been influenced by various civilizations, including the Byzantines, Ottomans, and Venetians. One of its most famous historical figures is Ali Pasha of Tepelena, an Ottoman Albanian ruler who made Ioannina his capital in the late 18th century. We have now surrounded the whole island by foot. It was very quick, I think it was around half an hour maybe. And it's about to rain very soon, um, which happens here basically every evening um, now in the season. Uh, so we decided that we wanted to see also the Ali Pasha Museum and the entrance is 3 euros per person. Gun of Ali Pasha. Made with gold. And it was made here in Yanina. This is the torture equipment. Ali Pasha was also known for his cruelty. Some of the instances were, for example, mass executions against political rivals. Another example of his cruelty was the execution of Kira Frosini, who was the wife of a merchant from Ioannina, and he was interested in her, but she was not interested in him, so therefore she has to let her life because of her beauty. together with 17 other young women and was drowned in the lake of Ioannina. The 
the end he was killed here by the Ottomans. And his head was brought back to Constantinople, to the Ottoman rulers, uh, to prove that he was really killed. The inhabitants of the island used the caves here to hide during the Italian bombings during the Second World War. So, of course, now I'm very hungry and we went to a Greek tavern and look how beautiful this tavern is. As an entry, we got feta cheese with sesame and honey. Wow, look at this cheese! Foka is in cheese heaven. It's really, really good. It's like a super fresh feta cheese, which is very salty with the sweetness of the honey and the sesame, sesame, sesame it's okay now our main dish has arrived and they look amazing we are aware that most of the restaurants on the island could be a bit touristy but we really like this place the food was delicious the portions were large and the price value was amazing we paid in total only around 20 euros for the both of us. It was really one of the best eels that I have eaten so far. So Ionina is also one of the biggest student cities in Greece. So this makes it uh, one of the cities with lots of bars, restaurants and I hope that this week we can eat a lot of different things. So Ioannina is also the rainiest city of Greece and that's why we decided to come here almost in July in summer. The temperature is really good, now it's like 27 degrees more or less and on the island uh, it was already 32 or something already too hot for for God. so this is apparently the public theater i think so timotico teatro ionio periferiaco ah, of the periphery regional public theater i think oh, okay i have no clue Today is our last day, last complete day in Ioannina and we have decided to go to the famous castle of Ioannina. So here you can see actually the grave of Ali Pasha. It is this thingy over there. Within the castle walls, you can explore historical buildings, museums and enjoy panoramic views of the city. When you go out of the castle, you're basically entering the citadel, so the old town of Ioannina. What we also really liked about Ioannina is the fact that they have their own kind of tapa culture. It is called Tsiburadiko. A Tsiburadiko is a Greek tavern where people enjoy Tsipuro, a strong spirit. In these taverns, you get also very small dishes served with your drink, also known as Mercedes. And this really reminded us of the Spanish tapa culture. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the best polpetta that I have ever eaten. And it's still warm. Well, this is our second round of Tiburadico and we got some Uzo that just changed its color. And Don Tsipura, which is like a form of grappa. So the tapas here are really nice. I'm surprised. Super soft. Really nice, but just a tapa. This was our last video from Greece for this time at least uh, and in the next videos we will take you already with us to other countries so stay tuned thank you so much for watching